Hi guys, there you saw the end result of this installation. Now we're going to take you back to the beginning. This is a 27 kilowatt uh, peak system, 20 kilowatt inverter power. Always starts with planning of where the panel is going to go. We decided against the roof because it was very high and very steep. Here is one configuration that we considered uh, that we ended up dropping just because it uh, took up a lot of the garden area. So instead we went for this frame solution on the ground. And here we see when we start to plan the configuration, two inverters working together in a master follower or as we say now host follower. And here we have meetings with the staff, planning the cables, planning the setup. Here you see how that is done. And here we have the unboxing, start installation. The guys working to get things up and here are the wires starting to get in. Long thick wires to avoid loss. A lot of work to get them into the protection tubes. And here they are working on the ground, the ground for the solar panels. Always have to have ground. And now I'm going to walk you through the end result. This is uh, 56 panels. We are talking about 27 kilowatt peak. And we have 20 kilowatt inverter power and we have about 24 kilowatt of battery power and it's all on uh, UPS so this customer has many big air conditions on the UPS and has savings of uh, around 14,000 baht per month with this system um, so it's an installation that we are of course very proud of because it's the biggest system that we have and so now I'll take you to the inverter room so you can see uh, but on the way, I want to show you the system from Bjarne, my friend. He has a swimming pool company and he actually made this pool, which is really nice. You see the natural stone. So when you combine pool with solar power, then you really have the best, uh, really nice uh, combination. Obviously, because the, the solar can power the pumps and everything. So you basically have... Uh, once you have done the investment, you don't have to think about power for the pumps and, you know, the cost getting out of control. He can do any kind of style, small or with, you know, cheaper tiles. This is on the expensive side with a natural stone look. Uh, but he can do any kind. Very beautiful. Let's go to the inverter room. That was one of the challenges with the configuration, how to do, obviously, how to keep the inverters and the battery in a safe place at the same time to have the panels in a place that we wanted to have them. Uh, the roof on this property, the roofs, I should say, are not that well suited for panels because they are steep and many directions. So, so now this guy, he will open the room for us. <laughs> and this is obviously a perfect place to have uh, equipment because it's uh, safe and also it's a room that's big enough for ventilation, yeah. for maintenance. Not everybody has access to this kind of room, of course, but uh, for the people that have it, it's... Uh, really nice so we have two 10 kilowatt inverters uh, the inverters are up here this is an inverter this is an inverter and they work together in parallel so this system was actually the first in southeast asia that uh, had two of these inver inverters work uh, together so they work as one system um, and then when there is a power cut they work as separate systems so that actually means that the UPS uh, can be enormous on, on this. You can actually push 20,000 watts from the UPS. Um, each battery can push 10,000 watts. And when there is no power cut, the energy from the battery goes to all loads, not only the UPS loads. So that's how this works. Um, high voltage batteries, 256 volts. 10,000 cycles, they will last over 20 years, no problem at all. So we have safety equipment on for the left side, for the left system, and for the right system. Safety equipment for the panels coming in, 
and we have smart meter and surge protector and here we have an ATS um, and here we have the ATS for the left system. So this system can be expanded to take up to six batteries per inverter. So this system can actually be expanded to 12 uh, batteries, which is uh, a lot. Uh, that's one of the advantages of combining because one inverter can connect six batteries, but when you have two, you can do 12. Uh, it is no limitation. It can handle 12, uh, 12 batteries, no problem.